Uh, ben, go ahead. Uh, hey there, Greg. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, how would you feel about playing? You guys can, uh, you know, go to a bowl game if you win the Stanford game. How would you feel about that? Uh, obviously, it's a strange year. Teams like to go to bowl games, but, you know, this year is different with all the circumstances and uh, hassles of, of, of playing football. How Would you like be in favor of, of going to a bowl game? Yeah, I mean, we haven't heard uh, too much on that front. We're pretty much focused on uh, Stanford, just what's ahead. And, you know, like this whole year has been, we've been uh, taking things in stride and just whatever comes at us, we'll be ready for. Um, I mean, we love playing football. So, yeah, that's that's my stance on that, I guess. But we're, you know, focused on Stanford, obviously, as of now. You had a, a huge game there uh, Saturday. Uh, what, what do you think went into that career high catches and uh, yards there? Um, I mean, it was just kind of taking what they gave us. Um, you know, we, you know, saw how they were playing different things um, and kind of just took advantage of, you know, the the type of reads that we had and the things that we saw, um, you know, I think on all fronts of, of the game, we uh, did a really good job run game, pass game. And so that kind of makes it hard to defend, you know, both on both fronts for them. So, uh, Mike, go ahead. Hey, Greg, kind of uh, going off of that, you know, what did you see from that uh, long uh, touchdown run? Um, you know, it looked like you kind of like split the safeties and Dorian just, you know, found you just cutting away and you just took off. You know, can you talk about that and your connection with uh, DTR this entire season? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, you watch the play, Dorian goes through his read, um, finds me, you know, just when I'm open. So it's uh, it a really good play for us. Uh, O-line did a really good job. So, you know, it's, you know, it's something Coach Sage says all the time. It takes 11 guys every play. Um, so when you have that, um, you know, things are going to work out. And to um, give you on Dorian, you know, we're roommates. So get a lot of time, uh, you know, a lot of chemistry going that's uh, been building these last few months, you know, six months with nothing else really to do besides football, um, you know, kind of helps you um, get on the same page with a lot of stuff. So it's been good. Uh, ben, go ahead. Uh, Mitch and Dorian, uh, have you guys talked about, uh, you know, his plans for next year? Everybody can come back and get extra eligibility. Obviously, he's got, you know, NFL potential as well. Uh, have you lobbied to him or talked to him at all about coming back next year? I know everything, you know, that we're talking about football-wise is, you know, this year and what we can do now to keep on improving. We haven't discussed anything like that now. How was the um, – kind of mood at practice and the energy you guys obviously had a really tough loss the other night uh, how did you kind of respond at practice today yeah you know obviously uh losing that one I, we played a really tough game uh played really strong I felt um so it hurt that we didn't come away with it but you know you, you got to move on you got to you know take things um with the week and so you know we're not playing SC anymore we're playing Stanford now so that's where all the energy is and you know we came out had a, had a really good practice today I thought Thanks. Uh, Tony. Hey, Greg. The, um, you know, if you guys win this weekend, you, you get eligible for a bowl game. But coach indicated that it's not a given that the team wants to play, that some of the players may not want to go because you guys have lived in a bubble for so long, you know, with no real escape. What are your thoughts on potentially playing in a bowl game that could keep you in there another two week, two to three weeks? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we're, uh, you know, going to take things in stride and kind of see how things go. We don't know anything as of now. So, you know, today, as a, as a Monday, we know it's, uh, it's just getting ready for Stanford. Um, you know, I, I think we've done a really good job taking things in stride this uh, entire experience. And whatever's been thrown at us, I think we can uh, continue um, doing a good job of handling it. Thanks. Uh, Mike, did you have another? Nope. Uh, any other questions for, for Greg? All right, we'll let you go. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it, guys. Now we got Ethan Fernia. If anybody's got any questions for Ethan, again, please hit the hand button. Uh, ben, go ahead. 
Ethan, a uh, big play there the other night. Um, what did that feel like? How did that play develop? Um, it felt really cool. You know, something you've been dream I've been dreaming about since I got here, to score a touchdown against the rival. So that was a really cool experience. Um, just a little tempo play. I wasn't really expecting coach to call it, honestly. I saw the signal and just, I was like, no way, and it worked out. Was that being the rivalry game maybe a little more special than your other touchdown from last season? I think so, for sure, yeah. As soon as you get to UCLA, you're, you start dreaming about scoring against SC, for sure. How did you guys uh, bounce back today? It was obviously a tough loss for everybody. What was kind of the energy level and vibe in practice today? Um, yeah, tough loss, but, you know, we came back and kind of like what this team's been doing all year, we just, we bounce back and we, we roll with the punches. It's kind of something COVID has taught us. We just take it one step at a time and this team has really come together. We work hard no matter what. And so we came out and one thing this team's got to get, got to do is not let that take the wind out of our sails. Just because the rivalry game's over doesn't mean we can come out slow against Stanford. We want to win that game just as bad as we want to win any game. So I think we're going to come out on fire. Two, two, two more quick things for you. Um, would you be in favor of going and playing in a bowl uh, game uh, if, if you guys could do that? And then uh, senior night, uh, possibly on uh, Saturday with no parents, how, how kind of odd would that be? Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't really heard too much about that stuff. We're just kind of focusing on Stanford right now. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we're not bowl eligible right now until we have a winning season. So we got to win that Stanford game before we can start thinking about other stuff. Uh, Mike, go ahead. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Ethan. <clears throat> can you just talk about a little bit about how, especially in the last two weeks, um, the passing game has has been, you know, put up some really big numbers. Dorian, you know, had some uh, some of his best numbers is moving up on all time lists. You know, what are your thoughts on on how he's been directing the offense and the uh, receiving game overall? Um, you know, I think one thing we talk about all the time is just executing. Like, you can know what you can know your assignment, you can know the plays, but if you don't execute, it doesn't matter. And Dorian's slinging that thing like he always does, and. You know, our guys are running the right routes, getting in the right spots, and it's working out for us. Any other questions for Ethan? Ben, did you have one? Yeah. Um, you, you, we talked earlier about you using that extra year of eligibility. Now that we're kind of getting to the end of the year here, has that conversation come up a lot in the locker room? Are guys talking about uh, what, uh, that decision and, and some, some maybe lobbying others to, to maybe come back and use it? Um, you know, I think with this whole COVID season, it's so like everything's so uncertain. We don't know when the season's going to be over. We don't know if we got a game next week. So we kind of just focus on, you know, getting the news one day at a time. And I don't think too many guys are thinking too far ahead. We're, you know, kind of, we heard we, play, we were playing Stanford yesterday and start working towards Stanford. It's kind of the mentality right now. Thanks. All right. Anything else for Ethan? All right. Thanks for your time, Ethan. Yeah, thank you guys. Have a good one. Thank you.